Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modic on M2, 2, 1. In this video we're going to see how we can clone the application that we have on the PLC in order to put it in the SD card and if you want we can read it on the software or we can download it to another PLC. So let's go to the presentation. So in order to, to clone the application it's very simple, we just need to follow these steps as you can see here on the screen. Basically, we need to format the SD card. The name of the SD card must be different from data. This is important because data will be used later for the login. The PLC must be on. Okay, and in order to check this is with the LADs in front of the controller, the PWR. Optional, we can stop the PLC using the switches that we have over here. In this case, over here, Okay, then what we need to do is to insert the SD card. Okay, once we do in this, the SD will be illuminated. Okay, then in order to understand when the process is finished, we need to check the SD LEDs. In order to check if it's off, it means that everything is okay. Otherwise, if it's flashing, there is some information that probably we need to check on inside the SD card to see what's going on and here we can see that on the SD card okay this script.log will appear okay with information about the steps that the PLC has done so in order to check this what I'm going to do is to open this application that we have done I'm going to connect to the PLC over Ethernet let's see Okay, good. Connecting over there. I'm going to download this application. Okay, because I don't remember the actual application on the PLC. Okay. Okay, let's run everything again. Perfect. So I'm going to log out from the controller. And now what we're going to do is to just go over here, open the SD card, going to format it, start, remember the file 32, okay, format complete, close, now I'm going to remove the SD card, over there, good. Now I'm going to insert the SD card into the controller. See the SD card. The SD is on. So now we need to wait until it flashes or is off. Still on, still on. Mm -hmm. take a few minutes it's much faster the process if we stop the controller okay using this okay so it means now it flashes okay so probably there is an error in the process we can check that when we remove the SD card okay now I'm going to introduce the SD card into the laptop Here, let's see what we have already here. Okay, mm -hmm. SD card. So, inside the SD card, there is a lot of information about the process, the videos, and the application. Okay, now this one is the command that it executes. download the firmware and the application so let's see this one is the message for the thing that we have done there okay so he said here that it start the clone operation 
okay in this case the PLC doesn't have the any post configuration okay and then it just says that it's successfully cloned if I have any post configuration probably it's gonna have over here but there is no error and the application is already cloned okay and then if you want to use this SD card this is the script that that will be executed in order to download the operator system and the application okay so one thing that we can do is to for example open a new machine expert and in order to read the program that is inside let me just put this in the other window okay so in order to open the application we just need to open project and we need to go here in the user of the SD card app no sorry my bad what we need to do is to go to commissioning memory management because the application is stored in the SD card and it doesn't have the format of the program so we need to go to read image from PC here we need to specify the directory of the SD card to read this one SMBK open and then read program as you can see here this is a new project read image reading program success so close and if we go here we can see the program that we have already and let's try to connect to the controller and see the behavior login as you can see is the same application okay so this way I show you that I was able to clone the application from the controller okay using the SD card and then using the machine expert I was able to go to the commissioning memory management okay to read the SMBK from the PLC okay and also I was able to connect and you can see there is no need to download anything again to the controller so let's continue with the presentation going to log out from here okay now let's see what is next here so we have already cloned the application and I already explained this part in order to open that file okay which you need to go to the commissioning memory management read image PC select the folder that the application is stored user app and then read the program now if we want to clone we have already cloned now but need to download it okay it's very simple we just need to remove the power of the controller insert the SD card into the controller restore it and wait for the LED to finish okay and then we should be able to see on the script the action that we have done so what I'm going to do now is to remove the SD card that I have on the PC probably I should create a new application okay just hold on a minute here uh, da, da, da. let's download an empty application here delete delete only this part okay I'm going to connect to the controller so I can show you that I am going to download a new application based on the clone that I have done at the beginning PC to controller <laughs> okay so now inside the PLC we have a different application which is different from the one that I have on the SD card so 
I'm going to log out, commission it, and hopefully, if everything goes well, we should be able to log in with this application, with the initial one. Okay, so let's open this. So I'm going to connect the SD card again into the controller, but first we need to remove the power supply. So I'm going to remove the power supply. You can see in there. I'm going to insert the SD card into the controller. Okay. Now I'm going to restore the power into the controller. Now we should wait to the SD in there to finish. Okay, it has finished. So now what we need to do, I'm going to remove the SD card. Okay. I'm going to connect the SD card into the laptop. SD card. Okay, so here we should be able to see what's going on. Script. So this is the previous one, okay, the previous operation that we had done, and here I start the new one. So start a script, download the firmware, perfect, okay. Download the project. Okay, so there is no problem at all. So it means that the clone and download has successfully been done. So now we should be able to connect with the PLC using the original application. Login. As you can see now, start. There is no need to download something else. Okay. Now, this is good when everything goes well and there is no issues at all. But we can have different behaviors depends on when we download the application, okay, and if it's protected or not. So just to show you, I'm going to download one of the applications I have done. When we have the application protected, for example, when we want to down um, clone the application that is protected, okay, we should receive this kind of message, okay, clone application protected. So what I'm going to do is to open the application which is in the other window, put it on this side, okay, so this one is the same application but protected, okay, application protected. So now I'm going to download this into the controller. Login. PC to controller. Okay, I'm going to overwrite it. Just wait for this to finish. Okay, if I'm wrong, is this one? Okay, good. So, this one has the application, it's protected. Now, I'm going to disconnect from the controller. Let's go back a few steps so we can follow this. This is the SD card that I already have. I'm going to format the SD card. So we can start fresh again. Okay, now let's start the clone process. Okay, I'm going to remove this. So now I'm going to put the SD card over here, but in this case, I'm going to stop the controller. Okay, it's in the stop. 
Now I'm going to insert the SD card into the controller. It has started the process, SD, SD on, so we need to wait for this to finish. So we need to wait until this is flashes or is completely off. Okay, it flashes, so it means that it has finished. I'm going to remove the SD card. I'm going to put the PLC and run. Now let's see what is the message that we have inside the SD card. So I have the SD card now script log and here is the message that the application is protected okay so depends on how we have configured the application okay there is a possibility to see different message okay if we haven't configured anything over here okay in the properties for project protection or application protection you can clone the application without any problems and then if you have configured the application as a application protection, as you can see over here, properties, application protection, I have this, then you shouldn't be able to, to clone the application because you will receive this message over here. Okay, application protected. So basically this is how you can clone the application from the controller using the SD card and if you want you can clone the application and put it in another PLC directly using the same SD card or you can put the SD card into your laptop, open the project and then download it to another controller. That will be helpful in case you need to replace the controller not for the same reference of the, of the PLC. Okay, so this is it for the cloning. Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.